Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Um, I wanted to make this video, this is kind of like a pep talk video in case you're wanting to start a YouTube channel. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, there are some things that I wanted to kind of like mention to you guys because I know what it's like to kind of start at the very bottom and start from nowhere, like no one knows you, you're not really quite sure like what you're doing, but you want to make videos. I definitely have been there and that's definitely where I have come from. So um, I definitely have some tips and some things that I'd like to talk to you guys about. So if you're interested in that, then please keep watching. So I know starting a YouTube channel seems like really scary. You're unsure of what people are going to say or how people are going to respond to you or if anyone's going to watch you. And for me, it was always con a concern of like, is there even a place for me? Like, is it too late to start a YouTube channel? And I'll tell you guys right now, YouTube has been from start to finish from like <laughs> the very beginning to now, it's been nothing but like a positive thing for me. So I always encourage people to start a YouTube channel if they want to. If that's something you are kind of longing to do, I say go for it. Like don't wait, just do it. I think your very first video, and I always tell people this, your very first video is the hardest part of the whole thing. If you can get your first video out, then you're pretty much golden from there. Like it's it's really like not that hard. It's not that scary. The first video, if you can get over that, then you're good, you're good. Uh, me, my first video, I had to shoot like a thousand and one times because I was so nervous and I was so perfectionistic about it. Did I say that right? I was such a perfectionist about it and when I started, I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know any of that stuff. I didn't know how to upload. I just, I knew that I needed to make a video and stop thinking about it because I was watching YouTube videos for probably about a year and I was like, I really want to make videos. Like there was this deep need in me where I was like, I, I want to do this. Like I want to be able to do this. Um, and I felt like I had something to offer. I felt like I had things to say that were maybe different from what I was seeing on YouTube and I had something to offer. So I think that's probably what a lot of you feel like if you're a YouTube watcher and stuff like that. I really, really encourage you to, first of all, make videos. Like, I would never discourage someone from doing that if that was something they wanted to do. So the first thing I kind of want to mention is don't get hung up in the how of everything. Just, just be yourself. If you have a camera, you don't need, like, fancy stuff. You don't need, like, lighting and you don't need, like, uh expensive stuff. If you have like an iPhone or a smartphone, something with a camera, you can record yourself. That's what I did. I spent like a whole year on YouTube just filming myself with my little camera on my phone. I mean, I remember being like really worried and hung up about like doing a thumbnail on my videos and like just making sure I looked good and I was really scared that like I wasn't going to look good enough to be on video. And really, I mean, I still get that fear in me sometimes. Like, I won't want to get up and make a video that day because I'm just like, I'm, I don't think I look good enough. I'm not pretty enough. And you got to stop telling yourself stuff like that because it's preventing you from a really, really amazing experience. Like I said, YouTube has just been nothing but positive. Even with negative comments or, um, you know, kind of setbacks or anything like YouTube's always like my happy place, my positive place, my creative place. And it's also good because you could get paid to be on YouTube. Now, I will probably make a separate video on that whole situation. Yes, I've been paid from YouTube. Um, and I will go into further detail about that in another video if you guys are interested in that. Because I, I haven't personally really heard a lot of like smaller YouTubers talking about that aspect. I've heard about a lot of big YouTubers talking about that. But... Um, what I've been paid isn't really like anything crazy or anything like that, but it's just amazing to me that you have the opportunity to get paid while doing something that you love and it's a creative outlet. Um, for me, that was a big reason why I created a YouTube channel is because I really just needed something that was my own and something creative to do and I love creating videos. It's been such an amazing experience. Okay, so that's the first piece of advice. Don't worry about the how because the how will work itself out like as far as editing and your thumbnails and all that kind of stuff. You have so much time to figure that out. Like you kind of have an advantage being um, brand new and no one knows you. You have time to kind of figure those things out as you go. I'm still figuring things out as I go. I've been on YouTube a little bit over a year. I started my YouTube channel uh, September 2015. A, a girl had asked me to make a video about how to be successful on YouTube and I felt kind of odd because I was like, well, I don't necessarily consider myself successful on YouTube, but um, 
then I, you know, then I got to thinking about it and I was like, well, I do have a successful YouTube because I persevere and that's, that's the number one thing. If you're going to set out to make a YouTube channel, I'd say that you need to make sure that you're dedicated to it and it's something that you're serious about. And you may not even know that until you start making videos. It's really hard to determine the direction you go in until you start making videos and until you kind of get yourself acquainted with the process of making videos, of sitting down in front of a camera, setting up all your stuff, doing your makeup, getting ready for the day, editing, all that type of stuff. You just, you never really know until you get there, okay? So that's why I'm telling you guys, first and foremost, don't worry about the how. If you've got a camera and you can record yourself and you have something to say, do that, just do it. Just get it out of the way. Me, I had to drink for my first video, so if you are like so nervous, I know that sounds terrible, but like, just get yourself in like a calm place where you can just be like, okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'm, I woke up one morning and I was like, I'm just gonna film a video. And I didn't really make like these big plans or anything. I didn't really know what I was gonna do. I just did it. So the second thing I wanna mention is being yourself. I think that's really important. So many YouTubers are out here making channels where they're basically replicating things that so many other people are doing. And I feel like if you're making a channel, you should be making a channel to kind of like fill in the gaps where other YouTubers aren't really filling those 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 roles. And I want to say to you guys, if you're like a normal person, if you're like a normal girl and you're like, you know, you're not like a supermodel, you're just normal. Um, I think that there's definitely a place for you on YouTube. And I want to make sure that I really nail that into the ground because I personally like seeing normal people and I think a lot of people like to see normal people. So don't let that set you back. If you're young, if you're old, if you, you know, are big, who cares? Like, make videos if that's what you truly feel like doing. I, I would never let the physical set you back from something that you truly desire doing. I really, really, and like I said, I think that, that no matter what you look like, there's a place for you on YouTube because there's going to be people who gravitate towards you. You know what I'm saying? Because we're all different. And we all have something different to offer to the table, so I think it's important to fill those gaps. Definitely don't worry about if you're different, because that's important. That's actually a good thing. So if you feel like you are set apart from other people, for whatever reason, maybe it's even your flaws that you have, and you're nervous about being kind of set back because you don't look like everybody else on YouTube, um, don't ever let that set you back. I would highly encourage those of you who are different to come on YouTube. I think this is an amazing platform because so many people are looking for someone who's like them and everyone I mean the baseline of a majority of people are normal and regular and do regular things so seeing regular people on YouTube I think is so important and I think that's definitely a growing need in the YouTube community so going into that okay this is gonna be like a random thing but if you're a mom I also think that it's a really great time for you to start a YouTube channel. Now, I was reading an article yesterday, and I will link it down below, because it was talking about YouTube success and how to be successful on YouTube. And it was talking about how YouTube is in the is in the market of like moms. Like they need more moms out there on YouTube, like reviewing stuff because you guys are the ones who who are like consuming the most products you know what I mean like you are consuming like household products diapers baby products stuff like that and consumers really really want to know this kind of stuff because again people with children are the ones who are consuming the most and so people want to know what's the stuff out there that people you know want to buy what's the good stuff what's the bad stuff the good bad the ugly all that kind of stuff so um, I thought it was a really interesting article I'm not a mom personally but it's hard to have the time to devote to something like YouTube. I know I get that, but there's a market for you guys. And so I'd highly encourage you to kind of maybe carve out some time to devote to making videos on YouTube, especially like reviewing products and everything like that. I think this is like your time to be on YouTube, okay? So, I mean, this article is just kind of like, really impressed me with that information. I was like, it was like a secret, you know? I mean, I could definitely see how there'd be a deficit of like mothers on YouTube because again, like the time constraints and everything like that. Don't create reasons not to have a YouTube channel. Like I said, I, I get that feeling, like that feeling inside where you just need to make a YouTube video. Like you just have this, you're like, I have something I wanna say, I have something I wanna add. 
um, I would like an audience. So that kind of leads me into where you, like when you're very first starting out and you, you put your very first video out there and you have no idea who's gonna watch it. You don't really have an audience yet. I've totally been there. I know how like weird and like the anxiety you have when you put out your first video because it's, it is weird. You don't, and, and even now I'm like, I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know really who's watching me, but as my audience has grown, I have consistent contact with certain people. So you do make friendships. And that's really important. That's really like a big plus in, in YouTube and making videos because I have made friendships with people who I can talk about things that I care about and it's not like this fake superficial type of stuff. Yes, it is, you know, kind of like distant, but we talk about things that I personally feel are important to me and things that I like talking about. And it's just an amazing platform to meet the kind of people that are interested in the same things that you're interested in. So that's a good motivator right there. So I also wanted to say along with the money thing, don't start a YouTube channel because you want to make money. I know a lot of people say that in their little videos about like making YouTube channels and stuff like that because it is really, really hard to make money. I feel like I kind of made money just out of luck because a couple of my videos kind of blew up and if you're making videos and you're wanting to make money, I think if you're wanting to make money, you have to have a lot of money in the first place because you have to be buying like new things, things that people are going to be searching for and that no one's really made a video on just yet and then your video will probably blow up because a lot of people are searching for that information. Also about social media, when I was first starting out, I was really concerned because I, like I said, I'm coming from a place where I didn't have any kind of audience, I didn't have any kind of like social media background or anything and I was really worried about that because I was like well don't you have to be like big on Instagram and big on Snapchat and big on Facebook and all that kind of stuff in order to have your YouTube channel take off and that's kind of like a, a yes and no type of thing I I personally really really like Instagram as my like social media YouTube like aside platform type of thing and that has kind of grown along with my YouTube channel I didn't have an Instagram before I started a YouTube channel so I think if you're worried about stuff like that, let it grow along with your YouTube channel. So don't be worried that you don't have like a million followers on Twitter and stuff like that. Just just start, just start somewhere um, and don't be worried. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to like motivate you guys because I really, I, I really honestly like, I really try to encourage people who want to make YouTube videos to do it because it's such a positive thing. Like it really, for me, it holds me accountable. It's a reason to get up and do my makeup and get stuff done, do something productive. And for me, I'm lucky because I'm a college student and I have, you know, a lot of time to devote to YouTube and stuff like that. So it's important that you have time to devote to it. To me, it's nice because it does hold me accountable. It does get me motivated for the day. And it's like, I have a reason to put on my makeup, to put a smile on my face, to be social and you know, it's nice because I don't really have to leave my house. So I just, I always try to tell people, it's just, it's a positive thing all around. It really is. And there's so many people, once they get to know you and once your channel starts to grow and you kind of fall into your, your, uh, your kind of like theme of your channel, which is something I wouldn't worry about so much in the beginning because that kind of develops as you go. People will start to reach out to you and you'll start to connect to people and it's just kind of like a natural thing that happens. I think when you first start your YouTube channel, there's so much anxiety because it's just so much unknown. You really don't know, but trust me, there's a market out there for you, I'm sure. Um, so don't worry about stuff like that, okay? I'm just really trying to tell you not to worry. But I did want to mention something not to do. Okay, so when you start YouTube, there's going to be a lot of people who spam your channel and I didn't know this at first when I started, but there were a lot of comments that I didn't realize were spam. And these people will go on like just any new video and they'll be like, hey, I really love this video. Check out my channel. And obviously I've never even like watched your video because like it, it's just like you'll see them replicate these comments on other people's videos. That's how I noticed it. And then they'll replicate it on your other videos. So you're just like, wow, you're just literally like copying and pasting a comment on people's videos. Don't be that person, okay? Because that's really annoying and I think that's really desperate and I think that's degrading to your channel and to your content and to your creativity. People will find you. Don't worry about that. Be patient. It really did take a while for me to grow. It's still kind of like a slow climb, but I always tell people it's always going to be about growth. 
it's never gonna be like you're gonna lose all your subscribers uh, one day miraculously you know it's always going to like build somehow you just got to keep working at it. it it really takes a lot of work it takes a lot of dedication I always tell people um, it takes so long to edit it takes a long time to like do your makeup get ready for the day it's 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 a dedicated task but you just you really don't know until you start doing it but anyways about the spam don't be like desperately going on to people's channels and like not even watching their videos and being like hey check out my channel because no one likes that and it people know that it's spam and they're not gonna want to watch your channel they're not gonna appreciate you they're not gonna respect you um, I get that people go like if you're watching someone's video and you're like hey I really like this video would you mind checking out my video like if you've actually like watched their stuff and you know you're being polite I think that's fine I think that's a great way to like meet people and connect people I have done this and I've met a lot of like really great YouTubers out there through this, but don't spam, okay? Because that's annoying and it just is degrading to you and your channel. But I will say if you do want to like grow your channel as a final thing, it's always good to like collab with people. I would write like YouTubers that I was a fan of and usually people who are kind of smaller, like a little bit kind of like at my level, maybe a little bigger. I'd be like, hey, would you like to collab with me? And that's a great way to get a little bit of exposure on your channel. And I'm telling you, like, once you get a little bit of exposure, it's going to grow. People are going to start to catch on. People are going to start to come to your channel. It, it is slow, but it will happen. It will grow. Just be patient with it. Take your time. Enjoy yourself. Figure yourself out. I will tell you guys this. I have gotten to know myself so much better through doing YouTube videos, like learning how I come across to people and how I talk and how... I mean, I used to think my voice was so annoying and like embarrassing. I couldn't listen to myself talk. I did not like being on camera. I didn't like getting pictures taken of me. Even in school, I had such anxiety about talking in front of people, like talking in front of a group of people in a classroom. And YouTube has helped me so much with that. Like it really helps you discover yourself and discover your strengths and your weaknesses. It helps you kind of like figure yourself out and that's why I say don't worry so much in the beginning. Like it, it is a process. It's a journey. Like you will learn what you're good at and what you're not so good at. And just don't worry about all the little details when you first start out because those things are things you're going to learn along the way. Um, and if you're scared about editing and stuff, I think I'm going to also make like an editing video. I personally use Movie Maker because I have Windows. There's also iMovie. There's tons of tutorials and stuff. That's what I did. I looked up a tutorial about how to use Movie Maker. And at first it was really intimidating and I didn't really get it, but you're not gonna learn until you do it yourself. Like no tutorial is gonna really teach you um, cause you're not gonna remember all that. And once you start doing it and you do it frequently, you're gonna like catch on. There's still things that I'm learning about how to edit and stuff like that. So it's really just a continuing ongoing process that you really have to like be dedicated to. Just let the journey take you wherever it's gonna take you, okay? That's what I do, so. It's worked for me so far and these are just things that have, I don't know, have been really working for me and things that I've noticed along the way as a YouTuber. And I think it's good advice, especially since, like I said, I'm a baseline YouTuber. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any ideas of stuff that I could talk about in a future video. Like I said, I will go further into like money and all that type of stuff if you want me to do that and then like editing and all that kind of stuff because I feel like that's a little bit more separate. But more than anything, I wanted to motivate you guys and encourage you guys as much as I possibly could to make a YouTube channel because I would never tell someone not to make a YouTube channel. Like there's really no reason not to, you know what I mean? So, um, and also this may sound like rude or whatever, but have you seen some of the people who make YouTube videos? Like some of them are really, really like terrible, okay? And I'm not saying that to be like mean or anything, like don't be offended that I said that. But if you're a YouTube watcher, I think you know what I'm talking about. Or some people just like get on here and it's like a joke. It's not like, you know, I don't know. It's like not important to them or something like that. Or it's annoying to see like these really, really big YouTubers that just kind of like live in their own world, like their fantasy world. They're not like really in touch with like everyday average people. And that's why I encourage like everyday average people to make YouTube videos because that's what I want to see personally. Like I want to see someone who's just like me. So yeah, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. Comment down below any video ideas you'd like for me to share with you about the YouTube experience and all that stuff. I do not mind sharing any of this information with you whatsoever about anything like YouTube re related. I know it's kind of like, it's a strange world. It's strange to like kind of navigate by yourself. So 
I'd be happy to help with any kind of like questions or advice that you have for me. So I think that's it. I think I'm going to shut up now. <laughs>